hello welcome these are gonna be shadows from different brands I don't own a lot from each brand so I decided to just put them all together in one video I will go through and swatch them by brands my prettiest for your face eyeshadows this one that I already swatched is Makeup Packed, and this is what it looks like. Make a Packed Train Bagel. This was created in collaboration and also created by um, I Am Jamila, and I will link her YouTube channel below. I am yet to use the shade. But this is what it looks like. Beautiful. Next one is also created and in collaboration with Kelly from Keep Beauty Real. And I'll also link her YouTube channel below. This one is Love's Band. I need to use this one as well. As of the time I'm <laughs> recording this video, I just recently got them. So I haven't had time to use them. But looking forward to using them. This is another one with um, Kelly Keep Beauty Real Lovelies. The Christmas Witch. This is one of my favorites from Pretties for Your Face. Scotty. And Olive Green. Nitro. This one is. Probably the sparkliest of them all that I have. Nitro. Last one is Nightingale. This one is the smoothest. and the softest that I have. And here we have it. These are all my shadows that I have from Prettiest for Your Face. Empress Color Drain, Gingerbread Color Drain, Aphrodite Makeup Geek, and Mocha Makeup Geek. I don't have any primer on my skin, so those are the shades. Red Apple Lipstick, Hello Darkness, it's a matte, She's Spicy, also a matte, Graphite Glam, a shimmer minx
although these are um, shimmery or this one says shimmer it looks more satin to me as well as uh, violet vintage looks like matte with silver shimmer running through it and then the last one is yes you canyon this is a matte I use this one a lot yes you canyon and that is from red apple lipstick shroud cosmetics moon moss tombstone folklore I haven't used folklore yet pigmented soul stone a favorite azura Enigma Night Song This reminds me of a shade from a shade that's in the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette reminds me of a shade in there and the last one world eater reminds me of princess Pepe from um, Sydney Grace and here we have it shroud singles that I have from the green to here Next, I have Nabla Ludwig. I repressed it in the smaller pan. I had, they usually are in a larger pan, and I hit pan in that, um, in that original pan, but I dropped it and it shifted and shattered in the palette I had it in. So I decided since I've hit pan and there's not much left in it, to repress it in a smaller pan and that's what I did and this is what it looks like so Nabla Ludwig let's see we'll put it here these are from the pastel roses let it snow Stone Grand. 
grumpy. So those are the three I currently own from Pastel Roses. These five are from Glam Shop. New Nude Hollow. These are, some of these are holographic shadows. New nude holo. Aurora. Aurora Origami Origami Golden Hollow Another holographic, and this one is the one I've won the most. I wear new nude hollow and golden hollow um, the most from all my um, glam shop shadows. They're just different from anything I own in my um, singles shadows the last one is Muse this one is marbled Muse I forgot to show you guys these two from Adept. These are the only two single eyeshadows I own from Adept. The rest are palettes. Um, I also repress them in a circular pan. This is ACD4 and this is ACD11. ACD4 and ACD11. 